Lyme disease, an often misunderstood illness, is a prevalent health concern in many parts of the world. At its core, Lyme disease is caused by a type of bacteria known as Borrelia. This bacteria doesn't spread through the air or by touch, but rather through the bite of a tick carrying the bacteria. Ticks are tiny creatures, often found in grassy, brushy or wooded areas. They're the silent carriers of this disease and their presence is most notable in the upper Midwest, Northeastern and Mid-Atlantic states of the United States. However, they're not exclusive to these areas. Europe and certain parts of Canada also see a significant prevalence of these ticks. It's important to note that spending time in environments where ticks thrive increases the risk of contracting Lyme disease. This means that a simple walk in the woods or brushing against tall grass could potentially expose you to this bacteria. Now that we understand what Lyme disease is and how it spreads, let's delve into its symptoms. Symptoms of Lyme disease can vary greatly, often appearing in stages that can overlap. At the onset of Lyme disease, you might observe a unique rash that resembles a bullseye. This rash typically emerges gradually over the course of several days and serves as one of the earliest and most common symptoms of the disease. The rash is often accompanied by additional symptoms such as fever, fatigue, headaches, muscle and joint aches, and swollen lymph nodes. This initial phase marks a crucial period for detection and treatment, as the disease can progress to more severe stages if left untreated. As Lyme disease advances, the symptoms become more serious and widespread. One of the major concerns is the onset of neurological problems. These can manifest in various ways, including difficulties with memory and concentration, nerve pain, facial palsy, and even changes in mood or sleep habits. These neurological complications underscore the seriousness of Lyme disease and the importance of early detection. In addition to neurological problems, untreated Lyme disease can lead to arthritis, particularly affecting large joints like the knees. This symptom is especially prevalent in the later stages of the disease and can cause significant discomfort and mobility issues. Interestingly, in certain parts of Europe, Lyme disease can cause a skin condition known as acrodermatitis chronic atrophicans. This condition is characterized by a gradual skin change, where the skin becomes thin, wrinkled and slightly discolored. It's another testament to the wide-ranging effects that Lyme disease can have on the human body. In conclusion, Lyme disease presents a wide array of symptoms, from early signs like a bullseye rash and fever to later stage complications such as neurological issues and arthritis. These symptoms can overlap and vary from person to person, making Lyme disease a complex and challenging condition to diagnose and treat. Identifying these symptoms early and seeking prompt treatment can significantly improve outcomes. While Lyme disease can have severe effects when left untreated, prompt diagnosis and treatment can mitigate these effects. The importance of swift diagnosis and treatment cannot be overstated. Lyme disease caused by Borrelia bacteria can progress from a simple rash to more serious symptoms, including neurological problems and arthritis, if left unchecked. Therefore, it's crucial to seek medical attention as soon as you suspect you've been bitten by a tick, or if you start to exhibit symptoms associated with Lyme disease. Once diagnosed, the standard treatment for Lyme disease is a course of antibiotics. These drugs work to eliminate the Borrelia bacteria from your system, effectively stopping the disease in its tracks. However, it's important to note that the effectiveness of this treatment can vary depending on the stage of the disease at the time of diagnosis. Now let's shift our attention to a slightly more complex facet of Lyme disease, post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome or PTLDS. Some individuals, despite having undergone treatment, continue to experience symptoms. These lingering symptoms can include fatigue, muscle and joint aches, and neurological complications. The exact cause of PTLDS is not yet fully understood. It could be due to a persistent infection, or it might be the result of an immune response. Regardless, it's important to be aware that even after treatment, the journey with Lyme disease may not be over for some. It's also worth noting that PTLDS is not a reflection of an unsuccessful treatment, nor is it a sign that the disease is still active. Rather, it's a syndrome that can follow successful treatment, and it's one that requires its own management and care. In conclusion, 
While the treatment for Lyme disease is generally successful, the possibility of PTLDS is a reality for some. This underlines the importance of early detection, as a prompt diagnosis can lead to a more effective treatment and potentially reduce the chances of developing PTLDS. Treatment is vital, but prevention is always better than cure. Preventing Lyme disease involves a few simple yet effective measures. One of the key strategies to keep this disease at bay is avoiding tick bites. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's essential to be aware of the environments where ticks thrive. These tiny creatures are often found in grassy, brushy or wooded areas. So, when spending time in such places, it's advisable to use insect repellents or wear clothing treated with permethrin, a common insecticide. Now, let's say you've been out in the woods. It's crucial to examine your body for ticks when you return home. Pay close attention to the underarms, in and around the ears, inside the belly button, around the waist and especially behind the knees. Ticks prefer warm and moist areas, so these spots are their favourite hangouts. What if you find a tick? Don't panic. Use fine-tip tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin's surface as possible. Pull upward with steady, even pressure. After removing the tick, thoroughly clean the bite area and your hands with rubbing alcohol, an iodine scrub or soap and water. Another important preventive measure is removing ticks within 24 hours of a bite. This is crucial because the bacteria that cause Lyme disease is usually transferred only after the tick has been attached for at least this length of time. So, the sooner you spot and remove a tick, the lesser your risk of infection. Lastly, let's not forget our furry friends. Ticks can latch onto pets and then transfer to humans, so it's important to regularly check your pets for ticks and use veterinarian-recommended tick prevention products for them. Remember, taking these simple preventive steps can save you from the potential complications of Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a serious health concern, but with proper understanding and preventive measures, we can reduce its impact. It's a formidable enemy carried by ticks that can be found throughout most of the United States with the highest prevalence in the upper Midwest and Northeastern and Mid-Atlantic states. It's also common in Europe and certain parts of Canada. Remember, spending time in grassy, brushy or wooded areas where ticks live increases the risk of contracting Lyme disease. So it's crucial to be vigilant. Symptoms can vary and usually appear in stages, but sometimes they overlap and some people may not have typical early stage symptoms. A common early symptom is a rash, which may resemble a bullseye and gradually spread over several days. Other early symptoms may include fever, fatigue, headache, muscle and joint aches, and swollen lymph nodes. This disease is not to be taken lightly, as without treatment. It can progress to more serious and widespread symptoms, including neurological problems and arthritis. In some cases, even after treatment, people may experience longer-lasting symptoms known as post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome or PTLDS. But there's good news, Lyme disease is preventable. We can reduce the risk by avoiding tick bites and by removing ticks within 24 hours. It's important to be proactive, to be prepared and to be aware. Knowledge is power. So uh, let's spread the word about Lyme disease. Let's inform our friends, our families and our communities. Let's remind everyone that ticks are not just a summer nuisance, but carriers of a disease that can have serious consequences. The more we know, the better we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. The more we share, the more we can help others to do the same. Remember, every action counts. Every conversation matters. Let's not allow Lyme disease to spread unchecked. Let's do our part to reduce its impact. Stay safe, stay informed, and remember, the best defense against Lyme disease is prevention.